Good morning, everybody. I just talked for 20 minutes and I wasn't recording. I had a blonde moment and I'm really blonde. But anyway, I'll keep this short. Um, I've been up since 3 a.m. I'm calm. I'm trying to breathe calmly, get oxygen to my brain so I'm not confused and don't go, uh, uh, uh. Um, I've been up, I've been up since three. I've said my prayers. I've had coffee. I've talked on the phone already to a fantastic neighbor. I talked to Renette. I reconnected with her at six, 6.30 or so this morning. And I love her mom and daddy, Red and Anita Jackson. They were so good to me when I was at Cedar View just amazing people. She's promised me that she's going to bring them to see me. We're going to sit under the pavilion like I do with my neighbors and have a blessed day. She lifted me up in prayer when I told her my issues. I blessed her by telling her my testimony and she said I've got one too so I can't wait to hear your testimony Renette yesterday I touched and reconnected with my precious niece Luann she's just age difference of two years from me well I think we talked for three hours it was incredible I've got her going coming home I had to stop and wave to Elmer he goes by every morning, every afternoon, and he he works for Larry Blocker, and he's his right hand man, and um, he waves at me, honks at me, hollers at me, all the above. I love it. But anyway, I reconnected with Luann, and she said, "Guess what, Deborah Lynn, Cindy Ray." My daddy Ray and I are coming to Octoc the first week of October. And I go, oh my precious, her sisters and her daddy. We haven't been together um, in years because of distance. Nothing wrong but just distance, life gets in the way. And I've told her before, she's had a hard time in life due to circumstances. She's got three beautiful daughters that she raised and they are awesome. Lacey Elizabeth, Lindsay Christian, Lydia Luann. But I told her, and I've told her before, you need to move home. This is her home. She needs me. I need her. I think I've convinced her to come. And she's a real estate agent. And, and, and she's got an opportunity to work on Mississippi State Campus with the sorority girls. And that's right up her alley. So I told her, you're not coming here October the 1st. Your daddy, your sisters are not coming here October the 1st. You're coming here 
ASAP. And pack your bags, make a plan, get it done, you're moving home. I want Deborah Lynn, Cindy Ray, all those grandchildren, all those children, I want them back in Ock Talk. And I'm thinking first of Lacey. She needs a home. She needs a base. I've got the jailhouse. We can redo it. You got your own apartment. Luann's gonna live with me until we work on the property across the road where the old garage was. We're gonna build her a, a Katrina cottage. It's just enough land for that. I've got ideas. I want Lindsay here. She needs me. I need her. We need to reconnect as family. We're going to do it. And they're coming for the sale. And Luann has already offered to help me do it. Move it. Pack it. So, Luann, I've already texted you once today. I told you to call me when you're available. I want to tell you right now. Pack your bags make a plan get your ducks in a row baby because you're moving to Octoc and I think she's really considering it if not I'm going to be very disappointed heartbroken it doesn't take it takes a lot to make me mad so I tell people you didn't make me mad you disappointed me that hurts them that hurts them. Um, I'm going to get off here. I am recording. I looked at the clock. I'm telling you like they told on the movie. You're beautiful. You matter. You important. I love you. I love you in Christ. And I had reconnection issues and a, a fabulous time with a new friends that I've met that live on Chapel Hill Road. I already love them. We clicked. I'll tell you that story later. Love you in Christ.